All right, welcome. We're going to do the 2017 AMC 10A problem number 25. How many integers between 100 and 999 inclusive have the property that some permutation, which just means arrangement, of its digits is a multiple of 11 between 100 and 999? For example, both 121 and 211, because I can rearrange it to become 121, have this property. Okay, so how do we approach a problem like this? We're going to answer in this video two different methods. One is a more efficient or slightly more beautiful solution, perhaps. The other is what you do when the crap hits the fan. You just figure out a way to get it right. And I want to cover both methods because you should be able to do both just in case you don't think of the first method. So the first method is going to require uh, some information that we need to generate. We'll start, when you think of this problem, what can you generate for new information? Maybe how many multiples of 11 there are. And then we could just work on rearranging those digits and create all of the scenarios we desire. So let's do that first. The first multiple of 11 after 100 is 110. The last one, we can just multiply by 9 to get 990. And if you add 11, you go over. So it must be from 110 to 990. Subtract to get 880, and we're going to use b minus a over 11 plus 1, a formula. b minus a, 880 over 11 plus 1. 11 goes into 88, 8 times, times 10 is 80, plus 1 is 81. There are 81 multiples of 11 between 100 and 999. Okay, let's also think about another piece of information that we can generate is that 11's, numbers that are divisible by 11 have a special property, just the divisibility rule for 11. If there are three digits, what it means is that the first and third digit minus the middle digit has to be a multiple of 11. For three-digit numbers, the only possibilities are 0 or 11. So we can put that here. Then in this case, if it's 0, we get a plus c equals b. And if it's 11, we get a plus c equals b plus 11. These are the two types of three-digit numbers that will be a multiple of 11. From this point, we probably want to proceed trying to make some cases. For me, the cases I like to use for this problem would be something like, does it have a 0? And if it has a 0, that would be like this category here. The 110 is 1. It ends in 0 in that case. 220 all the way down to 990. Um, in all of these, this is of the first type, where a, which is 9, plus 0 equals 9. Okay? The second kind is this one. And we could do where b is now uh, 0, and a plus c will equal 11. That would be 902, 803, 704, and 605. All right, so how many arrangements do the first column have? They're going to have only two arrangements each because two of their digits are the same, and the zero cannot go in the first digit. So it only has two places. 9 times 2 is 18. The other ones each have four arrangements. For 902, for instance, it's 902, 920, 209, and 290. So 4 times 4, there are 16 different numbers that fit the criteria that we desire. However, we also want to keep track of how many of these 81 multiples of 11 have we used. So there's 9 of them here, but over here there's actually 8. Because if I switch the 2 and 9 to get 209, that's still a multiple of 11. So we used 8 multiples of 11 here, 9 here, for a total of 17 multiples of 11. Let's go to the next case I want to work with, and that's 2 of the same digits, but no 0. We've exhausted all the cases that have a 0, so we don't have to think about those. Um, so this would be something like 121, where 1 plus 1 equals 2 of this variety. And you will get 242, 363, and 484. Another one is this type over here. For this to work, B cannot be even. It needs to be an odd number, so I'll get something that can be divided by 2, and A and C can be equal. So B could be 1, for instance, and I would get... 
six and six. So there's six, one, six, seven, three, seven, 14 minus three being 11, eight, five, eight, and nine, seven, nine. Okay, all eight of these will have exactly three arrangements. I can put the two in any of three positions and the same goes for all the rest. So all eight times three equals 24 different numbers that have the desired criteria. In addition, these don't have a second arrangement because if I switch one and one, it's the same number. So these are eight unique multiples of 11. We've now used 25 multiples of 11. We will subtract that from 81 to get 56. Now, these 56, we want to think about this carefully because you might think they're, they're basically all three different digits and no zeros. They should each have six arrangements. That might be true, but don't forget what happened with the 902 and the 209. The same thing will happen to these. For instance, 143 and 341 are both multiples of 11 of this type. However, they use the exact same grouping of three digits, so I won't get unique numbers with them, so I want to get rid of one of them. And every single one of these 56 uh, has this duplicate property. So we're going to divide them all by 2 to get 28 groups of 3 numbers that are now unique. And those 28 can be multiplied by 6. Why 6? Because it's 3 factorial. Um, there's three, uh, 3 numbers to be arranged. There's 3 factorial arrangements. 28 times 6. 6 times 20 is 120 plus 48 is 168. And so we can now add 168, and we've got 34 here and 24 here. That's 58. Add to get 226. Great. That's a very efficient solution, and it works. And if you can think of it, you're good. But my question is, what do you as a test taker do when this type of solution method does not appear automatically to you? Um, for me, if I'm stuck in a situation like that, I just overcome. I just figure out a way to get it. How can we do that? We just pay casework, uh, smaller cases this time. Uh, let's start off with B equaling zero in this scenario. Is it possible? No, because then A and C would have to be zero. Let's go to B equals one. Then these can only be one and zero. Notice I'm not writing A equals 1, C equals 0. Instead, A and C have to be 1 and 0 in some order. Um, and it's better to have it like that. What about B equals 2? Yeah, it also saves time to not say things like A equals or C equals. So if B equals 2, we can put 2, 0, and 1, 1. And just start going through like this. List all of these type as quickly as you can. The ability to list quickly is an essential skill that can get you out of a jam and possibly get you that perfect score. So B equals 3. This could be 3 and 0 and 2 and 1. Over here, we'll do B equals 4. We'll get 4, 0, 3, 1, and 2, 2. Noticing that these numbers just add to 4, the B value. Again, A plus C equals B. So B equals 5 will be 5, 0, 4, 1, 3, 2. B equals 6 will be 6, 0, 5, 1, 4, 2, and 3, 3. B equals 7 will be 7, 0, 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3. B equals 8 will be 8, 0, 7, 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4. And finally, B equals 9 is 9, 0, 8, 1, 7, 2, 6, 3, and 5, 4. Let's analyze this type here, the A plus C equals B type. Let's first handle all the ones with zeros. There's going to be one under each value of B. And so each of those cases will again have only two arrangements, zero not able to go in the first position. That will give us 9 times 2 equals 18. Let's now look at all the kind that have two of the same digits, similar to the other solution, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1. All of these, B is not zero. There's no zeros involved, so they will have three arrangements. There's four of them, and four times three is 12. Everything else up here is going to be uh, three unique digits. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of those. And so 16 times the six different arrangements those can have is 96. Notice we're not concerned with the total multiples of 11 involved subtracting from 81. That's not involved in this solution. We know that we're getting unique cases because the B value stays the same in all of these. So 96 uh, plus 30 is 126. Let's go to the second case. In this one, uh, B can be 0. If B is 0, then we will start with maximizing A, 9, and C will be 2. And obviously you can rearrange these. So 9 with 2, then we'll have 8 with 3, this number going down by 1, that number going up by 1, 7 with 4, 6 with 5. Little patterns like that will help you think faster rather than plugging in and, and whatnot. So go to B equals 1. This time you're going to have 12, so it's 9 and 3. And we can observe that I still maxed out the 9, but the right-hand number went up by 1. We can probably carry that pattern all the way through. So this will be 8 with 4, 7 with 5, 6 with 6. Then we have B equals 2. That will be 9 with 4, just bumping this up by 1. 8 with 5, uh, 7 with 6, and that's it for that one. Uh, B equals 3. We will have 9 with 5, 8 with 6, and 7 with 7. Again, checking kind of periodically as you go that you're not making a mistake. 14 minus 3 is 11. We're good. B equals 4, 9 and 6, 8 and 7. 15 minus 4 is 11. Uh, B equals 5, and you will get 9 with 7 and 8 with 8. B equals 6, there's only 9 with 8. And lastly, B equals 7, the last case is 9 with 9. Um, once again, we have a 0 involved. Let's think about it first. 9, 0, and 2, 0 can go in one of two positions, and the other two digits will have two arrangements. So these each produce 4. Again, 4 times 4 will be 16. Okay, then over here, we now look at all of these that have a duplicate digit. 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, and 9, 9. Those four will each have three arrangements. So 4 times 3 is 12. Lastly, take everything else that's going to have six arrangements. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no, not those, they're counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we will do 12 times 6 to get 72, add up that type to get 100, 101, 26 is 226. Is listing the best? No, it's not. But it's better than skipping the question and only getting 1.5 points. I hope this solution helped. If it did, uh, please subscribe down below. I'll try to have regular content.